Okay, we're here with Tom. This is our uh, the freeway overpass, and we're going to get on the freeway up there. Of course, right now the dashboard looks a little bit different because, of course, we are working on the car while testing it and driving it and using it. And here is our fine builder and driver, Tom. Yeah, we've discovered that uh, in uh, spring, a young man's heart turns, a young man's mind turns to thoughts of love, and in the winter, a young man's mind turns to the thoughts of heat. So the dashboard's off to put a heater in there so I can keep the car warm when I drive it in the winter. Uh, at the moment, the car is basically ready to go. I've been commuting to work back and forth with it, including driving on the freeway, which is what we're about to do. It is a little slow accelerating in the higher gears because you don't have quite as much torque as you do in a gas motor, but there's 35, 40, 45. Hey, is your RPM gauge working right now? The RPM gauge reads triple the motor's RPM. Okay. Because of the way the sensor so I was going to say you're redlining right now. Otherwise. I know, that's kind of the fun part is I can, I can pin the, the tech. There's 55. And this is uh, this 55 zone right here, isn't it? Yep. So now I'm hoping a cop will pull me over and give me a ticket for doing 58. There's a hair below 65, call it 64. So the thing is, we're passing this guy right here. He's got a big freaking huge engine in an SUV. And we just passed a cop. But his lights aren't on, so I don't get proof that we're doing 65 miles an hour in a 55 zone. Now, now Tom, I already proved that uh, electric cars can speed. I don't think we need to prove that one again. Well, I think you guys all remember impressive. my speeding ticket, right? Yeah. Tom's would be more impressive, though, I think. So this ramp was but we did just pass a bunch of people uh, with just your electric motor and batteries yeah, here on the yeah. freeway in a uh, home-built electric car. Uh, I haven't run the batteries to a full discharge at freeway speeds, but it looks like I should have at least a 35 to 40 mile range at freeway speeds. So Tom, when are you going to drive out and visit me at my house? Because you're about 30 miles away, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, next time we do this, I'll bring the car out. You may have to give me a ride home for a day or two. <laughs> Uh, unless you've got a whole lot of power. Uh, at the moment, the charging system, I can charge it off a standard 110 outlet, but it'll take probably about 20, 18 to 20 hours. Uh, if I charge it off of a 220 circuit with 30 amps, I can charge it in less than eight uh, from full discharge to full recharge. Uh, at this point, I don't want to do that full discharge cycle anymore that doesn't do the batteries any good. Yeah, we're concerned about just number of cycles and the lifetime of the battery. Right. So basically my usual commute to work with a little, little running around draws about half the battery pack off. And then it charges back up in about four or five hours. Cool. And of course road construction, cause we're in Wisconsin and that's just yep. the way things are. It's that time of year again, and I don't think we have an on-ramp. This one isn't quite as downhill as the last one, so it takes a little longer to get up to speed. The, so the acceleration on here is not phenomenal, but it's probably no worse than a, than an economy car. No. It's probably a little worse than the economy car at the higher gears. At the lower gears, it's fine. But going from 40 to 60 is a bit of a, a bit of a push. I found on my car that it's on kind of the high end. The acceleration really slows down a bit. Right. That's the, the nature of electric motors. The higher the RPM, the less torque you've got. Whereas in a gas motor, there's this power band up towards the top where you've got lots of torque. And you're going through and you're using all five gears. Exactly. Uh, we're going up a bit of a hill, so it's, it's working a little harder than it needs yeah, to. Yeah, it's one thing that usually doesn't come across good in web videos is uh, uh, seeing whether you're going up or downhill, going uphill right now. Right, so we press this, I'll be able to get some more speed pretty quickly. 52. 55. And of course, we're coming up on another hill. So now, now, what what happens when we hit 88 miles per hour at 1.21 gigahertz or I gigawatts? Need more gigawatts in my gigawatts. battery pack to get to that power level. I don't think I quite have the Mister Fusion working yet. I think I know of a Christmas present for Tom. So it's cruising at about 60 or 55, going up and down hills. Uh, you gain a little going up, you gain, lose a little coming down. But you're doing the speed limit on the interstate right now. Yeah, no problems at all. It's, it's got a nice, comfortable ride with the new springs in it. Uh, it handles and steers just fine. It feels a little heavy, almost a bit like a Cadillac. But other than that, it runs just great. It's great I was noticing the ride actually felt pretty good. It, you know, it just it feels like a car. Uh, the back of the car isn't bouncing around weird, anything like that. Ride height seems good. 
The road's leveled out, we're up over 60 now. down a slight decline, down, down the hill and then lose a little coming back up. So no, I'm not going to set any land speed records and probably would have to work really hard to get a speeding ticket. But, Do you have uh, any kind of uh, idea of efficiency that we're doing? I mean... I've it, done, the, the tests I've done have been what they call wall to wheels. So I put a, a watt meter on the power cord and charge the battery all the way up, then run it down figure out how many miles I've gone, charge it all the way back up, and I can do watts per mile. Uh, doing street driving, it's about 400 to 450 watts per mile. Okay. And the one time I've done that for freeway driving, it's about 500 watts per mile. And given that I've got about a 22 kilowatt battery pack there, that sounds about right. I should get about 40 miles range out of it. And I, th I think if you do the math to mathematically convert that to miles per gallon, that comes out to something like... 100 mile per gallon equivalent, something along those lines. I haven't done that number yet, but yeah, it's in the right ballpark. I think it was, I actually did do once, it was like 90 or 100 miles per gallon. But for the most part, drives just fine, cities, highways, doesn't seem to matter.